Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Today's video is a follow-up to my unboxing video, where I attempted to cut out stamped images using the new SDX125 Brother Scan and Cut machine. Now this is the way the stamped images should cut out. When you cut out a stamped image of, like for example, this little piggy, you should have even amounts of white space around the, the outside of your stamped image. Okay, so this is what happened to me when I cut out these stamped images. There was just not quite the right amount of white space around the stamped image. Do you see how there's more, there's more white space on the bottom in this case, less on the right. Okay, there's just not an even outline distance and I used an outline distance of 0 0.04. Okay, so then I went ahead and I showed you on another video how to do a firmware update. Okay, so I'm dedicating this video to a couple of my viewers because uh, Colleen, Colleen actually wrote, when you open the machine from the box, your images were not cutting out around the edges evenly. Did, did your firmware update solve the issue? Okay, so Colleen, I'm dedicating this video to you. And I'm also dedicating this to Trudy, because Trudy said, I have a new DX and I've aligned it a few times and it's not making any difference. It's quite disheartening. So Trudy, do not be disheartened. We're gonna try to fix this today. And after I fix the stamped images issue, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna show you also how to align it if it doesn't work. And so we're gonna try first, just doing it right now without doing anything else because I've done a firmware update. Okay, so what that means is I've, I've made sure the software on the machine is up to date. So without me doing an alignment, I'm just gonna see if that fixed the issue because that will answer Colleen's question. Okay, so prior to this video, I've stamped four of the little piggies in memento black ink onto whisper white cardstock. They cut out before, I'm gonna cut out these now. We're going to, the mat's still per, pretty fairly sticky because it's a brand new, brand new mat. Okay, it only loads in one direction when, when you use the, um, the new SDX, so you have to load it in the direction of the arrow, your mat. Okay, I'm just putting the, I'm just attaching this. And you can use a brayer. This is a, a rolling brayer if you want. So I mean, I just use that because it, do, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so I'm attaching the stamped images. I'm gonna try the trick a lot of my viewers told me, which is let gravity feed the mat in. So now I'm holding the back of the mat up this time when I load the mat, okay? See if that works. And it did not. Okay, let's try it. Yikes! Unload, unload. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm going to use, I'm going to put my hand down on the mat. They they were saying to lift up on the back of it a little and give it a little push like you'd have to do with the Cricut. So I'm trying that again. Okay, good. That worked. At least it didn't take me five times, so that tip does work. If you hold the mat up a little bit in the back, I'll show that in another video sometime. We have a lot of issues to work out, so we, we will show that in another video about good ways to load the mat once I master that. All right, so we are in, we're trying to stamp, we're trying to scan uh, stamped images. So the idea is these are, <clears throat> these are black and white. There's good contrast between the foreground and the background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say scan, and I'm gonna say direct cut because I wanna directly cut out these little pigs. And I'm gonna store the information on the machine. That's what, it's asking where do you wanna store the information just on the machine for right now. My wireless is not set up yet. Now here's where you would choose the color recognition mode. I like black and white recognition mode, which is here because it's fine because there's good contrast between the stamped images and the background. So let's just say, keep it at black and white recognition mode and we're gonna say start. And it says scanner lever, lever is set, scanner lever, lever is set to position two Refer to scanner lever and then press start key. Okay. Well, I don't know why it's saying to refer to, refer to scanner lever. I'm just gonna press the start key. It says scanner lever. It's saying refer to scanner lever. Set the position only to two when you're scanning thick material. Oh, okay, so it's saying refer to. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to one. In other words, it's telling me it's set to two because I remember it told me to set it to two. The reason it told me to set it to two before was because I was drawing, and even though I wasn't really using thick material, when you're drawing, it likes to lift the scanner plate out of the background. So it was set to two. So now it's telling me, go ahead and set it. To, so I just went and set it to one because my material's not thick, and that's what it was asking me to refer to. So set it to scanner position lever one. It usually tells you what lever position to use, as far as I know. 
Okay, so it's scanning in my piggies. And again, all I've done so far was the firmware update. I didn't realign my machine. So the question is for, for Colleen, did, did updating my firmware make my stamped images cut out properly? We're gonna find out. We're gonna say okay. And um, I, only, I don't wanna select these four. Those were my old ones that I've already cut. I'm only gonna select this area here, okay? And, oops, I might have to delete those manually, which I'll get to show you. Okay, so I want to ignore object size. I only want piggy, so maybe I can use, I could be using my stylus, which is inside my tool holder. Nope, it's not inside, it's over here. I like that there's new tool holders to keep your tools, keep from losing your tools. All right, so I'm gonna take my stylus and it's saying, you know, ignore object size. So I can like ignore these, anything that's like less than an inch or so, and it will then ignore the small objects, but keep my pigs, okay? So we wanna keep the pigs, but ignore the small objects. All right, let's, good enough. Now, it should just select the pigs only. Okay, so we're gonna say okay, and now we need to add the outline distance. Okay, this is the outline distance. I like to add a 0 0.04 around my pigs. So the question is, will they come out evenly this time? I don't need to go into editing mode to get rid of any stray bits because I think all my stray bits are gone. I think it did a good job of selecting them out. Okay, we're gonna see what happens. Okay, now it's asking you to select. It's asking select, do I wanna cut, draw, emboss? So of course we wanna cut, not not anything else right now. We're just cutting the stamped images. Okay, so now it's, what it, I like the auto blade technology. It's, it's going to feel, it's saying, oh, well, how deep is the cardstock? It's doing a little test right now with the auto blade. And then it decides how, how deep to go, which is kind of nice. Okay. So we're hoping to get this image on top, a perfect little pig with the right amount of space around the foreground and background. Okay, it's almost done. It's on the fourth one already. I have not changed the speed or anything. It seems to be a little bit slower, but I know, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna say okay. And well here, let's, let's focus that. It's fin it says finish cutting. I say okay. I unload my mat. Okay, when unloading the mat, yep. Okay, scanned images could shift. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't know myself what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm figuring this out along. So let's peel this off. I can't tell yet because when they're on a white background, I can't tell. So when you, when you get your, take your cardstock off the mat, you peel that off. Then to get your little piggies off the mat, you take your spatula and you, you, you can bend the mat a little bit and you can use your little spatula to get them off. And that works good while the, the mat's still sticky. So let's see, I'm putting them down and then I'll lift them back up. I just wanna get them off and then we're gonna put them on. Okay, let's see. I'll put them on like a different color background so we can sort of see if, they, if this worked. And we'll compare them to my first. So here's my first, here are my piggies. Let's take a piece of designer series paper that's dark. Oops, sorry for it. All right, we're gonna put them on there and see if it helped. Okay, so no, it did not help. So. Okay, the fir so the question is, did the firmware update help? No, the firmware update did not help. Okay, so we are now going to do what's called an alignment. And I have my, I have my stamps here. So I'm gonna stamp four more piggies. But first I'm gonna do an alignment, then I'll pause, then we're gonna stamp four more piggies, and we're gonna try it again. Okay, so. To do an alignment, yesterday I went out and to Joanne, my mom had to get fabric anyway because it was like an hour ride, and we went out and we got, I got one piece of, of pure white cardstock because what I was using before was not pure white, it was like a off-white. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the brand, you know, I'm gonna tell you what, what I got. It's a pretty thick piece, it was like a dollar, but it was on sale for 40% off, so let's say it's called Brazil. Okay, it's called Brazil cardstock. So, I'm putting this, I'm putting this bright white piece of cardstock on the mat. Okay, I'm gonna line. What I'm doing is I'm doing scanning, cutting, position alignment now, and I'm hoping that that will help. So when I cut out these pigs again, that they'll come out evenly around both sides. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna load my mat and it didn't load okay correctly even though I'm lifting up the back so I have to unload it again okay no problem I'm gonna load it again the rollers are in the right spot I'm giving it a little push nope come on mat okay one more time okay nope Not at all, that didn't even roll in. I'm gonna have to show this mat loading sometime because it's, it's very interesting how it's not. There we go, okay. So, got the mat to load. So what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna go to the home screen, delete all patterns. So what I'm gonna do is go into the settings because I'm gonna do this scanning, cutting, position alignment. Okay, so one of my viewers also asked me maybe my offset, this was floor. She said, are you set to millimeters instead of inches, maybe? I love my viewers. Thank you for your suggestions. And, I, and it actually is set to inches. So thank you for that suggestion, though, because that could have been it. But it is set to inches. See, millimeters or inches, it's set to inches. So I'm glad we're checking that as well. Because everybody wants me to figure this out. Because, you know, some, some of you are having the same issues, and everybody wants to know how to make your stamped images, I would think, cut out evenly around the inside and outside. So when you want to do that, you have to go to Scan, Cutting, Position, Adjustment. It says the carriage will, carriage will now move to the initial position. Keep your hands away from the carriage. Okay, after all that loading, it spit out my paper, so it's okay. <laughs> and it's saying, install the blade holder and mat with a sheet of white paper attached into the machine. S shift the scanner lever to position one, which it's on, and go ahead and press this Start key when you're ready. So I'm pressing the Start key, and it's saying mat is not loaded because it just unloaded it on me. I hope it loads correctly. <laughs> no, it did not. Let's just keep on trying to load it. Give it a little push. <laughs> not a push. I'm not even pushing it. I'm just, I'm just sort of holding it up at a tilted angle like, like some of my viewers said, hey, hold it up like you would hold a cricket mat. So I'm holding it up, giving it, letting, I'm trying to let gravity feed it in. Um, still nothing. Ooh, it went in crooked. Let's unload that. You have to, when it does go in crooked, unload it right away so it doesn't get all bent up. Okay, still no. Crooked again. I'm even waiting for it to stop spinning so it doesn't, so it doesn't, um, Spin. Okay, now I'm pressing that button and holding two hands on it. I'm going to try the two hands because it's taking a while after you press the button. I'm going to push it with two hands a little bit. Gonna, not push, but just kind of guide it. It's in between the guides. Nope. We will keep on trying. Oh, it looks like it got it this time. Yay! All right. It got it. So now it's saying start. So what it's going to do is do the scan, cutting, position, adjustment. And then after this, I'm going to try, I'm going to have to pause to go stamp four more piggies. So that I can try this again. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna, while it's doing that, I'm just gonna grab my stamping block real quick so I don't have to pause the video. Sorry for the delay. I just wanted to grab a stamping block that way. Okay, so it's saying, does the red circle align with the center of the cut? I mean, I think it sort of does. I like that in, in the other version, I was able to adjust it and tweak it. So, I mean, I'd say, I'd say yes, the red circle is aligned, except maybe not on that one. So if I say no, though, it says change the white paper and try again. See, and so I can turn my white paper around and try again. 
So, but I mean, that's, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my white paper and I'm going to turn it is what I'm going to try to do. Okay, I'm going to turn it and try again, but I just don't understand why it's not letting me, if I say no, it should let me tweak it so that the white, so that the little line is inside the crosshairs. I think it's okay, but I don't think it's quite aligned. So it's trying to do an alignment and I don't think it's quite aligned. So what I'm doing right now is while it's doing that is I am stamping four little pigs on memento black with memento black ink again just so we can go ahead and try the same thing over for the third time is a charm okay that one wasn't very good stamped image I am not using a stamping mat I'm just All right, so I have three. I'll go ahead and stamp a fourth one because that is an uneven piggy. Putting the lid of my ink back on. Okay, so it's saying, does the crosshair line up? I mean, it's, it's still not perfect to me. I wish I could center this. Like, I wish I could move this. It doesn't let me. See what I'm saying? It says, does the red center align with the center of the cut? I guess it sort of does. It's, it's in the center of the cut as much as possible. If I say no, it just makes me do it again. If I say yes, we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's, it keeps on saying it's aligning. I'm going to say yes this time. Because whether I say no or yes, I really don't think it is aligned. But I could sit here all day and just, you know, align, align, align. And maybe that's what I need to keep doing. Maybe I need to do it 20 more times before... But I would say I'd liked, I liked it before when I could actually align it myself in, in the spot I wanted it to be aligned. All right, but this is a new machine, so it doesn't work like before. We have to, we have to let it go, let it go. All right, so what I've done just now while I was waiting is um, I stamped four more pigs. I stamped one that I messed up. So here are four more pigs that I didn't mess up, and we're going to try to put those on the mat and stamp them again. Okay, so we're, we're doing this again. And we're putting the brayer. Now, in the future videos, when I cut stamped images, okay, I've attached, I've attached my piggies to the mat. I'm going to go ahead and go to the home screen. All right, saying, just go ahead. I'm going to go say okay, and we're going to say scan. So I'm going to, in the future, let's see, load the mat. I'm going to load the mat. When I do cut stamped images and do and do projects, I hope to have it all aligned ahead of time. And so we can just get right into the cutting the stamped images. So once it's aligned, I, it shouldn't make you do this every time. In fact, now with, with my current machine, the CM350 or Scan and Cut 2, I, don't, I only have to do this like, you know, once every couple of weeks or once a month after cutting hundreds and hundreds of things out. So it's not like you should have to align very often. Don't mind me, I'm just doing the mat loading game. It looks like... Um, Still not, Matt's still not loading. Lifting it up in the back. <laughs> okay, not sure. I know it's going to eventually load. Thank you all for your patience and understanding as we work through the bugs of this machine because eventually it's going to load and eventually it's going to have to cut my stamped images. I mean, what else What else can we do? We have to make it work, right? Because when you spend a lot of money on a machine, you have to make it work. No two ways about it. <laughs> my rollers are in the exact position I got them in. I didn't, I've never touched them. I've never done anything new. I'm going to try not holding the back of the mat up. I'm just going to cut lay it flat again. I'm not even going to touch the mat. And that didn't work. So we're going to we're going to hold it up a little. Now I'm going to hold it up like my viewer said. I I'm trying to not hold it up. I'm trying to hold it up. I'm trying to like push it, not push it. I'm trying to you know, put my hand on it and not put my hand on it. 
All right, so it's finally loading. In fact, one of the reasons I didn't get the first original machine when it came out is there were so many mat loading issues and I thought they'd really worked that all out. All right, but they do. I do have the right kind of mat because it's, I, I know that, that's what one of my viewers told me. Okay, so anyway, let's, whew, we got the mat loaded. We are at the scan stage. We're gonna scan, direct cut. We're gonna save it to the machine, black and white recognition mode, start. Okay, come on little piggies, you can do it. I really want to get this to work because I like the auto blade technology. I want to save a lot of time. And I cut out like literally hundreds of hundreds of stamped images per week. Even though I have dyes, I like I prefer, you know, using the scan and cut on some of the ones that have nice well-defined lines like this. We're going to say okay. Okay, we're going to select the pigs that we want to cut. And I'm going to get rid of that piggy on top because it's not a full piggy. We're going to go ahead and ignore. I'm selecting the area we want. I'm going to ignore the object size. Again, I'm going to say OK. I'm putting that outline distance around 0 0.04. And now I'm going to now go into editing mode. And I'm going to, um, in the editing mode, get rid of this extra pig here because he, was he wasn't a full pig. So this is how you do it. You go, you select the pig. You hit the trash button and you say OK. So that gets rid of anything you don't want to cut. So after all said and done, you got everything scanned in, there still might be things you don't want to cut and you, you go into editing mode to get rid of them. Please select, we're going to hit cut and we're going to get this to work, come on. And what's interesting is it was, it was my scanned images I had done adjustments and it was the scanned images that didn't really quite fix the other day, but the feathers did pretty, they did, they did much better, but we can try the feathers as well. So my feathers, just so you know, um, they were coming out like this with the more white side, the more white on the right side than the left side. And then I went and did an adjustment and I think they came out pretty good after that. I mean, it's still not perfect, but they came out pretty good. So. If I get these stamped images to work, I'll do feathers really quickly just to compare, just to just to get this part finished up, like the follow-up from my unboxing. But I mean, I hope that this works. But it was the stamped images that were having trouble, not the not the pattern paper. All right, so let's say um, unload the mat. Okay, again, peel peel the cardstock off. This is. This one is a Whisper White cardstock. Okay, using the little spatula. So bend, so bend the mat, and use your little spatula to get your little pigs off. Okay, but oh, especially when it's sticky. Now later, you're just gonna—they're just gonna fall right off. But right now, I'm still happy with my stickiness. All right. And I'm not sure how happy I'm going to be with these stamped images. So let's get the ones from before. Let's get the ones from now. Let's compare them. So this was before. There was just not quite the right amount of even space on the right and left, top and bottom. And now we're still like that, OK? So we're still not getting the right amount of white space around the top and the bottom of stamped images. Okay. Now, it shouldn't matter that I have a little grass selected because it should still be, I mean, it's still not doing it quite evenly, but it's, it's getting better. Okay. Because I've always used the same image as a comparison, but it is getting better because look, actually, I'm actually getting happier with this because look, see, see how this one was like all cut off on the back and then I'm getting a little bit more white space now. So I'm saying like it is seem it seems to be lining aligning in incremental it seems to be incrementally getting better like a tiny tiny bit better each time. So so what you can do is I can just do like another alignment and try it again or I know I can um, do several more alignments and try it again. But I think I'm going to just since it is fine it is Monday I'm going to call brother See if they have any suggestions and get back to my viewers that way. Because I mean, sometimes 
there could be something else like that they make me reset so i've already done i've done the alignments i've done the crosshair things i work with my white paper i tilted it i did it again i did it this way and then i tilted the paper and i did it again that way and it's really not aligning so we'll get back to you we're not going to give up i'm going to go ahead and post this video even though again i don't really think it turned out as much as planned it's still the way you would cut stamped images I'd like to hear from you if your stamped images are cutting evenly around the inside and outside of them, especially if you have this little piggy stamp set. I'm going to go ahead in the next video and try a different stamp set and see if that will help as well. So I'll get back to you after I call brother. We'll cut out some pattern paper next. I'm going to try those feathers again like I tried the other day. All right, thank you for watching. This is The Paper Chef.